Tighten it so that they're all together. And now you see the spine. There's two there. So we're going to bind them together. Oops. I guess since I did it on that side, we can touch a book on that side too. Why not? Might as well, uh, we can even alternate sides. That would probably give us most balanced. So around itself first, the in incoming string. And then around all of their spines. Starting from the first. See, it's holding quite well. We've already done what four booklets. Remember, there's going to be also a spine here that will hold them together. Some manufacturers of books actually don't even bother making string; they just uh, glue the paper right to the um, the spine. But those are like you know those cheap made in China stuff. This one I'm showing you, this is a longevity book. It's like magic spell book quality. I am a, a, a wizard after all. And Well, I'll do the rest and uh, we'll get to the gluing and the cover. So what do we do if we wrap them individually? Uh, like this first one is uh, basically, well, the same thing. Uh, well, it just we only do the spinal portion where we bind this together. Yeah, well actually uh, I was saying earlier about that some people glue it. Well, that's, it only works with single sheets. Uh, single sheets. You can glue it directly to the spine. But booklets like this, you have to bind booklets together. Because um, they're made of multiple sheets of paper that are stacked on top of each other. So another thing is we can see make this a little loop and then we can pass our needle through the loop and that makes an extra sturdy kind of thing. And then we can just tie this off either with a, 
a double knot or an eight knot. I, I like eight knots, personally. Uh, there we go. That's secure. And now we just cut off the extra. And uh, can you use somewhere else? Alright. We gotta recharge the battery. <clears throat> hey, hey, so recharge the battery. So now, uh, let's make the cover. I uh, use some cardboard here on the side. It's just a little bit bigger. Here, so it covers it fully, and uh, it's important to have this. Um, you see these ribs going vertically, because uh, you know books usually only flex like that, right? No, you know, on the vertical rather than the horizontal. Um, yep. And so, um, got uh, two covers, one for each side, and now we've got a, make the fabric component of it. And so how do we do that? is take this jeans and we need a little extra material um, and so here there's the, the spine of the jeans here maybe we'll make that the front so we need a little extra material anyways. So gonna cut this. Alright, and then I'll Oh yeah, so made the spine. See it's, it's more or less the same size as one of these sheets. And what it does is it goes around on uh, this bare piece of paper like that and then we can trim off the excess so we'll do that soon we can even put it the other way uh, and we can also make the covers once we uh, get good measurements for it all right. Okay, so now that's done. See, it's, it's all sticking to the spine, and there's solid layer of glue. We'll put uh, something heavy on it in order for it to uh, stay in place. <laughs> all right. Um, yep, and we can work on the cover also like trimming the excess and things like that. Okay, so here we have our book, uh, well, the cover anyways, working on it. Uh, I've trimmed it a bit. And so now I just gotta glue it. And it's it's more or less the same process that I showed you earlier. Uh just apply the glue. Um we'll be applying it to these um uh, paper boards.
Remember, it's non toxic. It's okay to touch, but if it's toxic, be careful. You might need to wear gloves or something, but then would you really want to handle that? Oh yeah, and the neat trick you can do is So just gotta set it properly. Make sure it is to your liking. And uh, then we'll do these inner flaps. That's how 